Here we have the 2021 Toyota Highlander XLE all-wheel drive. Comes with a 3.5 liter V6 engine, an automatic transmission, and a beautiful silver color. Let's take a look inside. Coming inside, we do have a nice armrest here with our power locks, windows, and mirrors. And we have that premium leather upholstery, that power driver and lumbar support. Let's take a look inside. Left side here, we have our trip uh, odometer and our uh, digital gauge cluster dimming. We have our automatic uh, high beams and our power trunk button. Automatic headlight and fog light controls on the left and our rain controlled rain sensing wipers on the right. I guess they're not auto, but they're rain wipers on the right. Uh, but some buttons here to control what we're seeing on the digital gauge, which we'll go into shortly. We have our other radio and Bluetooth options here on the left. On the right side, we do have our adaptive cruise control functions, as well as our steering assist and steering centering uh, button right here. Adaptive cruise control, some more radio controls there as well. Coming over to the infotainment system, first thing we have here is our digital gauge. We've got our fuel economy, eco indicator, driving support information. Your audio, whatever audio you're playing will show up in this tab. Your tire pressure information, your all-wheel drive information, and your safety, uh, via your safety systems, which we have the pre-collision system, the blind spot monitoring system, and the rear cross traffic alert, all available within this unit. And you can go through some of the settings for those here, as you can see. Click, uh, click on it to get more details. It's a lane centering information. Very nice there for you and then any warnings you might have right there. Coming over to the infotainment, actually just below that, we do have our push start engine button. Infotainment, up into the audio section here, check out our sources. We do have AM, FM, Series XM, USB, and Bluetooth. Also do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If you wanna, if you wanna connect your phone via Bluetooth, you can. If you do, you'll have access to your messages, recents, and all that good stuff. Back to the menu. Uh, apps, you got your remote connect authorization and your notifications. Obviously, you have more if you do connect your phone. Your projection for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, your info for your eco and your vehicle alert history as well. Got some setup settings in here, like your general settings for your language, your theme settings, your keyboard layout, uh, your, all your Bluetooth settings, obviously, if you have your phone connected, your audio settings, your phone. Whoops, want to go back. Phone voice, your vehicle, we do have our vehicle customization, valet mode, and dealer info. So tons of uh, available features within this unit. Have our dual zone climbing control here as well. Uh, have our heated seats for the driver and passenger with three, three different levels of heat, which is kind of nice. You got your uh, front wiper defrost, your front and rear window defoggers. Uh, you got your more climbing control settings here, your fan controls, your rear, your rear climbing control from up here as well. We'll turn that off because we have no one back there. And your uh, heated passenger seat. Three USB inputs. If you want to use Apple CarPlay, you got to put your phone, you connect your phone into this one right here. These ones are just for charging, and you got your 12 volt. Two cup holders, nice transmission shifter here. We'll check out the backup camera. Also, we do have our drive mode selector here. You got your sport, normal, and eco mode as well. We do have mud and sand, normal, and rock and dirt uh, drive mode selectors. Your traction control on or off, got your snow mode, downhill assist, auto start and stop, electronic park brake, and your auto hold. You have tons of features in this vehicle. I think it's absolutely loaded up. We also have our another 12 volt in there as well with extra storage. Nice power tilt side sunroof up here. Have some of our interior lighting options and our sunroof controls. A nice sunglass holder up here as well. We have a nice rear view mirror with our universal garage door opener buttons just on the bottom of that. Let's take a look outside now. Here at the front we do have our LED headlights and fog lights. A nice gloss black finished grille with some chrome and silver accents all around that and our Toyota badge in the middle. Also have our Michelin tires on our 18 inch alloy rims that are silver and gray in color. They're super clean in contrast with the silver vehicle. Got our uh, paint matching and um, gray uh, mirror there. Paint matching door handles and rear tinted windows with those silver roof rails up there that blend in super nice with the vehicle. Beautiful LED taillights here with the Highlander badge on the left and the XLE all-wheel drive badge on the right as well. We have that trailer tow package just down here as well. Let's open up the trunk. It is a power trunk. Press the button, gives you a little audio cue. Opens nice and easy there for us. As you can see, we do have tons of room here in the back for storage. Even more storage under this little tab right here, if I can get that open. There you go, got your lift kit access right there. Close that up as well. You can fold down these third row seating, super easy, all you need to do. Push, pull, pull this tab right here, seats automatically go down. Obviously you wanna fold the, the headrest first. You can fold these down super easy. There we go, now it should go down nice and easy. Obviously you can do the same with the right side. To close, we have a power trunk button right up here. Give that a press. Comes down nice and easy there for us. Now, let's take a look at the back seats. 
Coming to the back seats here, they have a nice armrest with a power windows. Also a sunscreen shade right there, so you have some kids or anyone in the back want to block that set out, you do have that option with that. We do have our premium black with an upholstery in the back as well. Tons of legroom and headroom. Also have those all weather mats here in the back as well, which is super nice, super easy to clean, especially in the winter when it gets all dirty and muddy. If you have no one sitting in this middle seat here in the middle row, you do have two cup holders and an additional armrest there for you. As well, we do have our rear and tri-zone climate control settings, as well as two more USB outlets so you in the back are not left out. Kids will get your electronic devices charged up there for you, as well to get easy into the third row seating. Pull this tab right here, slides out, easy access into the back. Also, all, all weather mats back there. Three more seats in the back, and they all have their own individual cup holders as well, which is super nice. There's tons of room in here. Let's head back outside. That'll wrap it up for the 2021 Toyota Highlander XLE all-wheel drive in a beautiful silver color. If you have any questions or want to book a test drive, please feel free to visit us at parkmazic.ca. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll catch you in the next one. Have a good day.